This is FYI, a public affairs program of Strong Tower Christian Media on 93.7 The Light and Hope 100.7. And I'm J.T. Burcham, and it's my honor to host this each week where I get a chance to talk with interesting people about fascinating projects around Ohio. And today, I am talking with a Central Ohio celebrity, Mr. Daryl Geis himself from Christian Blue Pages. Daryl, how are you today, sir? I am doing great, JT. Maybe a legend in my own mind, but no celebrity. Oh, man. I uh, As long as I have been alive doing businesses, there have been Christian Blue Pages in my life. So thank you for your work. You, How long have you been with uh, CBP? Uh, I'm in my 33rd year. Uh, we okay. started the, uh, the uh, business back in 1991. With uh-huh. a big heart to see Christians uh, support one another in business and ministry across denominational, racial, and ethnic lines that divide us on Sunday morning. So, and yeah. that mission has continued to this day. Yeah, yeah. Well, and you know that uh, yeah, no doubt that mission is still relevant. Yes, you know I, I'm always amazed, and I don't mean to digress too far, but I'm always amazed. Sometimes people think, you know, Christian business is somehow not ministry, and you know there is so much ministry and supporting businesses that believe the way you do. Uh, I know you know that. I'm preaching to the choir, but thank you for what you've done over the years. Um, a, a Christian Blue Pages is such an awesome uh, ministry and opportunity the Christian kingdom uh, you know, here in Ohio and Indiana and Kentucky, I've learned. So yeah, that's correct. Yeah. Thank you for what you do. I appreciate that. I mean, it's, I really believe, we really believe at Christian Blue that uh, every Christian owned business is really a ministry, a marketplace ministry. That uh, I'm a, you know, a business uh, missionary uh, disguised yeah. as an advertising executive. So that's right. That's, yeah. That's how I look at it. Yeah. Okay. A couple of different things going on. First of all, for those who know nothing at all about the Christian Blue Pages, uh, this describe uh, kind of uh, what it is and where folks can find it. And how, how's, how does that work? Sure. Well, we are a uh, print, web, and mobile app Christian business directory company. We have a print directory that serves uh, Cincinnati, Northern Kentucky, one in Dayton and Springfield, Ohio, and another one in Columbus and Central Ohio. It, the, the print directory itself is formatted uh, A through Z, like the old Yellow Pages was. Uh, it, it, but all the businesses that advertise in Christian Blue are owned or operated by a, per, a person that professes Christ as Lord and Savior, is actively involved in a local Christian church, we require that, and strives to operate their business with excellence for the glory of God. So those are the three core requirements. And if a, a business owner adheres to those three, then we can uh, connect with them, meet with them to discuss the opportunity to be a part of it. So, And so we provide this print directory and it's distributed um, at churches and businesses and YMCAs and bookstores and uh, banks and uh, places all over uh, uh, Ohio uh, so that consumers can pick one up and uh, support trusted Christian businesses that we have pre-qualified as Christian owned and operated. Are there things like Christian Blue Pages elsewhere around the nation? Well, there used to be. Uh, there were a number of uh, other Christian directory companies. And, and actually, at one point uh, back in the early 90s, I think, uh, pretty much every metro market in America, major metro market in America, had a Christian directory that served it. Uh, we, uh, as I mentioned, serve uh, three states. Uh, there are uh, online versions, and you know our um, online uh, directory is at christianblue.com. Christianblue.com is the uh, search portal where you can search for any product or service you need, and it geolocates the results to the consumer's area. So anytime there, anyone looking for a particular product or service can find it, and the results show the closest uh, business to them in that category. So, uh, so yeah, so we do that. We do mobile app. Uh, Christian Blue mobile app is available for Android and iPhone. Um, but we found that most of the other Christian directories around the country have uh, either transitioned to a digital only platform or have, have gone away, but we've, uh, for the grace of God, we say 30 years by God's grace. And, uh, but you know, it's an important ministry, uh, for the Christians to come together and, uh, be one body of believers in the marketplace, put their stake in the ground for Christ in the marketplace. Yeah. Yeah. Now, um, the, the transition to digital, is that a, 
is that a good thing or bad thing for you? I, I oh, mean, oh, it's a great thing. I mean, you know, we not only do you know the website and the app, but we do social media and e-marketing uh, uh -huh. through constant contact with, with our business clients. And uh, in fact, the newsletter is going out tomorrow. Uh, we uh, serve uh, a, a monthly uh, consumer newsletter and a monthly business a business newsletter. Um, but oh yeah, it's it because people connect with us in lots of different ways. I mean, some people just connect with us through social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or LinkedIn. Some people like our app and download the app and that's the way they connect with us. Some people are avid fans of our, uh, Christian blue pages, print directory, you pick it up there, or just go to the website at christianblue.com. Uh, so it's good to be able to offer that, to reach as many people as possible. And, and uh, we especially like the print directory and the print directory still is the number one way that we get the phone to ring for our clients. Uh, but it reaches the entire community. And, and we believe that Christians and non-Christians, people that are looking for trusted businesses, you know, uh, are utilizing our print directory to find uh, businesses that can serve them, that they can trust. So Yeah, yeah, sure thing. Now, every Christmas, you do a big, big uh, go caroling uh, project and try and get us out singing. That's a nice thing. Tell me about this year's project. Well, it's Go Caroling 2023. It is, uh, we've been doing this since, um, well, the actual Go Caroling started in 2010, um, the citywide uh, initiative on the second weekend of December, which this year would be the 8th, 9th, and 10th. But really, Go Caroling is a, a season wide, uh, all throughout December. Uh, initiative where we just encourage, especially Christian families, uh, to take the opportunity to step aside from the busyness, the craziness, the commercialism of the season and devote a little time uh, to go love your neighbor uh, at Christmas time through Christmas caroling. And, you know, you knock on somebody's door uh, if you're doing door to door evangelism, if any of your listeners uh, uh, have done that in the past. And that gets varied results. Um, but if you go to the door with a caroling group, um, almost every time it's it's greeted by smiles and and uh, cookies. Some of the, a lot of times, cookies, cookies, you got <laughs> it, candy canes, you know, all that kind of stuff. So um, it's just a great opportunity to love your neighbor at Christmas, and we've been blessed to be able to inspire people to do that and provide resources to do that at uh, gocaroling.com, which is our caroling website, gocaroling.com. Uh, provides all the resources people need to, to make it happen. Why caroling? Are you a caroler? Is this a, is this a passion of yours? Yeah. So it started back in 1995. I was um, tasked to do, to uh, create some uh, crudely photocopied songbooks uh, in my church at the time that I attended. Uh, we're, we're going out caroling and there was a good turnout. It was a cold night. Uh, I, uh, more people showed up than we thought, and I had to go get some extra hot chocolate. I walked into the United Dairy Farmer store in Cincinnati and uh, walked up to the counter with the hot chocolate. And the clerk said, gosh, you look really cold. And I said, yeah, I've been out Christmas caroling. And she stopped dead in her tracks and looked at me and said, Christmas caroling? I didn't think anybody did that anymore. Um, and um I still get chills whenever I say that I'm reminded of that statement because it set, uh, it set a fire in me, JT, that said something needs to be done about this. And, you know, I worked with Christian blue at the time and I said, maybe we could do something as Christian blue pages. We, we print a directory. Why could we get a songbook together? So we partnered with um, the former Christian citizen newspaper in Dayton, Ohio. And, uh, um, eventually produced the songbook in Columbus, the, uh, in 1996 and then Cincinnati and Dayton in 1997 and, uh, have run with the, what's called now the Christmas blue pages, Christmas Carol songbook, uh, since, you know, in all three markets, since Cincinnati, Dayton and Columbus, since 1997. That is so cool. That is so cool. So any favorite carols you, uh, always look forward to singing? You still go out um, every year, yes? I love Hark the Herald Angels Sing. It's just such an upbeat song. I love verse four of O Little Town of Bethlehem. It says, O Holy Child of Bethlehem, descend to us, we pray, cast out our sin and enter in, be born in us today. I mean, it's just like, that's like the gospel message, right? I mean, that's like theology, you know, you know, 501, you know? And so 
that's the great thing about all the songs in our Christmas carol songbook, the Christmas blue pages, are traditional Christ-centered carols only. That's those are the only songs we have in there. And inside the uh, the songbook is a, um, a Christmas program that you can utilize. To go to a nursing home. It's a half hour long. Has eight characters, eight parts: a narrator, angels, shepherds, all that kind of stuff. And it's the gospel story of uh, the birth of Christ through the gospels. Uh, with songs relating to that part of the of the scripture interspersed. And uh, it's just a great opportunity to either do it around the Christmas tree with your family uh, or go out into the neighborhood uh, and uh, share the love of Christ through Christmas Carol. And I love it. I love Christmas Carol. I always have. And um, it's, it's just really uh, a great ministry at a great time of the year where people really need, really are looking for, you know, truth and love and you know, it, Christmas could be the happiest time of the year for people. It could be the saddest time of the year for people, right? Uh, so we just bring a little joy to their lives by going caroling. Well, and regardless, uh, whether it's a good or a bad uh, season or year for people, it's a great way to share uh, the Christian message of joy and peace and hope. Uh, you're singing on their doorstep, and no yeah. one very rarely ever complains about that. So very, well, very cool, Daryl. Yeah, we had a uh, we went caroling with my our uh, my son's trail life scout troop uh, last year, and we've had so many stories over the years. JT, of just amazing testimonies of what God's done using the caroling. But uh, this one was so special. Uh, we had a group go to this one neighborhood in Cincinnati, and we I remember the house because the little boy had a string of lights over his head, <laughs> you know, Christmas lights over his head. I thought that was kind of odd. But uh, anyway, uh, so we sang to him and he smiled. They really enjoyed it. They thanked us. Um, we told him that we were from the Trail Life Troop and it was sponsored by a, a church down the street and all that kind of stuff. The mother of that child reached out the next day to the church, emailed the pastor and said, hey, listen, I uh, just want to let you know uh, you had a group of carolers uh, come to our house last night. And my son, who's three years old, has been deaf since birth, but recently got uh, bilateral uh, cochlear implants uh, in his uh, in his ears, and for the very first time, was able to hear Christmas carols sung, and it just absolutely made their Christmas. And it was just it was just so cool. It's just such a confirmation that this type of ministry makes just a huge imp can make such a huge impact. Yeah, yeah. What a great story. Daryl, guys, thank you for encouraging folks to get out and share the gospel with uh, some uh, caroling this year. GoCaroling.com, I think I heard you say. Is that correct? Correct. That's the website where you can go. You can get all the caroling resources. You can register your carol group to win some valuable prizes. Kind of fun thing we added to it a few years ago. Um, download a songbook from there. Find out where you can pick up the printed songbooks. Uh, watch some inspiring videos, just a whole bunch of resources to encourage you and equip you to love your neighbor this Christmas through caroling. It sounds like to me, if you're going to use this material, it should be a hashtag, go caroling also. Is that, <laughs> is that hashtag and uh, and uh, leave your pictures uh, so we can see them. Absolutely. We do encourage that. Absolutely. Daryl, guys, thank you so much. Uh, appreciate uh, your ministry. If someone has never heard of Christian Blue Pages and they do want to get involved, I'm guessing they can find out at christianblue.com. Is that correct? Yeah, just go to, yeah, just go to christianblue.com. There's a whole bunch of navigation tabs at the top, whether you want, you're want interested in getting copies for your church. There's a church ministry resources page, uh, you know, getting uh, advertising your business, whatever it is. Uh, all the, re, all the uh, contact information is found there at christianblue.com. Daryl, guys, thank you for your time today, and thank you for your creative ministry. I really appreciate it. You are welcome, Very JT. Merry Christmas. Yeah. Merry Christmas to you as well. This is FYI, a public affairs program of Strong Tower Christian Media on 93.7 The Light and Hope 100.7.